Why is that forecast troubling? Obviously, those numbers themselves are big. But another major factor that could affect what we end up seeing in Hispaniola in particular are the mountains. So here's where uh, Melissa sits right now. Dead center of the Caribbean, just slowly spinning. It's barely got any movement to it right now, moving at about two miles per hour, almost stationary, and very slow westward drift over the next couple of days. Expected to likely intensify over that time. And could we potentially then see even greater rainfall amounts? If you take a look at Hispaniola in particular, here's the concern the mountains. And some of the peaks that we have here are more than 10,000 feet. And so what you end up getting is orographic lift as our southern bands of rain come northbound here from Melissa. What that ends up doing for us here is producing copious amounts of rain, maybe greater amounts than what are even forecast up the higher elevations. And then when that water falls at the peaks and then it flows downhill very quickly because of the terrain and the slope. Then you get massive runoff here and flooding down into the valleys. Then you're getting also mud flows and debris flows and whole sides of mountains end up coming down. This is a major concern here with Melissa over the next several days to a week.